You can get the Virgil belt on here. You can get millionaires on here. Somewhere far away. I want to decision has been made. <laughs> she still hasn't vlogged. <laughs> she hasn't. On a camera? Yeah, so I think I said it to him more, I might just shave it off. Give me four hours. He's going to do it. Give me four hours. What do you think? Of the new hairstyle. <laughs> You guys have probably never ever seen me like this. Hmm, I don't even know what to say. What is good people? It is your boy Ari Petru. Welcome back to the channel. I just did something uh, pretty nuts. Just basically shaved my head off. Shout out to Jace. My hair was just out of control and I thought I just need a change. And um, I used to rock this haircut like when I was a kid. My mum would always just shave my hair like this. I thought I'd go back to it. And to be honest, I really, really like it. Like I thought I wasn't really gonna like it at first. I just thought, eh. Let me just do it, and if I don't like it, I wear hats all the time anyway, but I actually really, really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, we're with the whole gang today. Shh. We're with the whole gang today. Natalie behind the camera. Callum is in the back. Pablito is with us. We're gonna do a few cool things today. Um, it's also my stepbrother's birthday later, so that should be fun. But right now, we are gonna head to Camden. I wanna show Callum this vintage store, and I'm gonna show you guys the vintage store too in my next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But I'm just gonna give a little sneak peek because this store that I found is actually a banger. It's probably gonna be like my new go-to store, to be honest. As I said, I actually have been in here before um, and bought a bunch of teas, but I've got a few here, three or four that I'm gonna try on. There were M&M's NASCAR joint. This is actually hard. I think I'll probably take this. It's only 30 quid, so. This one's actually vibes as well, the car key. There's like a tank on here as well, which is Back pretty sick. That car, 30 quid, like, can't go wrong. Just a few little pickups, and then also uh, Ben asked me, Ben Morris asked me to get him some tees as well, because he got FOMO last time I was in that shop. So I picked him up a couple of t-shirts as well. But honestly, that store, what goes around comes around, solid. Pulled up to Neat Burger, what did you cop? Yeah, a little cheeseburger and chips. Wasn't gonna get a milkshake, but... That's a bit cheeky. But me and Natalie found this vegan spot last time we came here. It's actually really, really good. This is not really a major McBang, but I basically just got two chicken nuggets. What did you get, Ben? I got the burger bowl, so... Mm. Avo salad, um, chicken bits. Well, vegan chicken bits. Mm. Did I have the garlic mayo? Yeah. Garlic mayo slapped. Look at that. That looks good. Down like you go to a it. sit down restaurant. Sit down's different, so standing up. And I have to bit. order off an app. Like, what is this? No, what I mean is, I don't like to go over to the till and everything. Why? Mm. Yeah, but. No, but like in Nando's now, you got to order on the phone. Like, what? In Nando's, they make you order on the phone. No, I don't mind that. No, I mind it. It annoys me. Because then I can't say it. I want a chicken leg or whatever. You can't add these little things, like little changes that you might do to your order. The plan is to just get rid of all the jobs, like let's be real. Let me know what you guys think of that. I actually think it's really freaking annoying that you gotta order everything off your phone now. Did you give him some? Mm -hmm. Look at him licking his lips. How was the plant-based burger, Callum? I actually slapped, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually fire. So Ishan just called me, he must have seen my story. <laughs> let's see the hair. She No way. <laughs> I, I thought it was a joke on your story. No. I Filter shit or something. Nah bro, no joke thing. I That's like right. it though. Nah, I like it, That's I rate right. it. Sexy. Is it sexy, darling? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, trimming tonight. Mashallah! <laughs> <laughs> what am I? 
definitely keeping his hair cut now. So it is the next day. I actually went out for dinner last night with my family, which was really, really nice. Callum and Natalie did come as well. It was my stepbrother's birthday. So yeah, it was just nice to get out actually in a restaurant. I feel like I haven't been to like a proper restaurant and had drinks and a nice meal in a while. So that was really, really nice. This morning when I woke up, I found out Louis Vuitton. Yes, Louis Vuitton released a game, like an actual video game. Some of you guys will know that I'm a bit of a gaming nerd. I have always been into gaming, to be honest. Mainly COD and FPS shooters, but Louis Vuitton dropped a game. I need to see what this game is about. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go and get the iPad. Me and you guys are gonna play the Louis Vuitton game. Let's get it. Here we go, Louis the game. So you got story mode and then time trial is locked for whatever reason. I don't know what time trial is or how you unlock it, but hopefully we can. Here we go. Oh, check that. Louis case. Okay, so what type of game is this? Okay, so you got your own little Louis Vuitton character. Zero out of nine. Zero out of nine what? One candle. Is that a candle? Vivian's backpack. Okay, so we're playing as Vivian. And tap Vivian's backpack. Cheers! Jumped into the Louis backpack. What's this? This is crazy though. Okay, so you got postcards. My father's mill. Is that what we're collecting here? Freaking postcards. Okay, so yeah, they're candles. Okay, so I can't run off a cliff. Right, that's good news. Oh, there's a trail. Okay, jump. How do we jump? Woo! Let's go! What happens when we find all the candles? Then what? Fourth candle. Where's the trail taking us now? Oh, is that the trunk? That light up thing, it has to be. Can I go in the water? Oh, so what's the point of bridges? Seven out of nine. We're pulling up to the trunk, surely. Okay, but where are the other candles? Man wants all the candles, blood. Oh, they get a key out the trunk, now what? Each level's trunk contains a key. We're continuing the LV journey still. Ooh. We're not getting in this hot air balloon right about now, are we? We really are. <laughs> Off she goes! In the LV balloon! Jeez! That's a bit drippy. Vivian's catching a freaking vibe. Zero out of 50? 50. 50 what? Okay, one out of 50. Is that the next candle? Oh no, you can see all the candles. Yo, G, is that the Eiffel Tower? We move. Okay, but now do I have to collect 50 candles? Is that what this game is about? Collecting candles all day long? I was hoping for a bit more than that. I'm not gonna lie. But what's this? Oh, what? Let me check her backpack. Jeez! This game's pretty sick. Okay, so postcards are candles. You can literally collect accessories as you go along. And then, oh! Yo, you can customize your character. That's pretty swag. You can get the Virgil belt on here. You can get millionaires on here. You can get surfboards. Check the backpack. Is that another postcard, yeah? It must be, it must be. So I think each candle represents postcards. I think that's established. I want to climb up here. How am I supposed to get out there? Golden postcard! Vivian has found the golden secret postcard. This is crazy. Yo, wait, what? NFTs can be withdrawn in January 2022. Enter to win. So this golden postcard opened up a link and revealed Louis' birthday postcard, giving us some background on Louis Vuitton himself. He was born August the 4th, 1821. Now on his 200th birthday, Louis Vuitton marks another phase of innovation, issuing its first NFT collection along with a new mobile app, Louis the Game. I clicked on this, which is like a runway catwalk video, which is pretty cool, I suppose, but I feel the main objective here for Louis Vuitton 
Vuitton and Louis the game is to grab hold of the NFT market and bring it to the fashion industry. Some of you might be thinking NFTs have just kind of come out of nowhere and brands like Louis Vuitton are just hopping on a wave. I can almost guarantee you a brand like Louis Vuitton would have been working on this concept and idea for a game and NFTs for at least the last couple of years. But I can assure you brands like Louis Vuitton, Nike, Chanel, and I know for sure Nike have filed certain patents to digitally verify their products using NFTs and things like that. So it's really crazy to be playing a game like this and watching NFTs and the whole digital world really come into fruition. The way that Louis Vuitton are incorporating NFTs and games and just kind of shows everything is going to be connected. Just shows that these big corporations in the fashion industry are in tune. There's this one coin called Luxo, which I'm invested in. I'm talking about crypto here, but these guys are on it too, right? I'm invested in Luxo because their main aim and they have some amazing partners on board. They have Nike on board, they have Chanel on board. I'm not gonna make this some crypto ad, but I genuinely have a lot of that coin. One, I'm into fashion and two, I wanna see kind of how the whole fashion and NFTs and the whole digital crypto world is gonna all integrate because I do think it will, especially to verify products like verifying Louis Vuitton handbags. When you buy a Louis Vuitton handbag, you get a little NFT with it, which is like a nice little added bonus. And then that NFT verifies your product because if it doesn't come with the NFT, then that bag's fake. It's like as simple as that. And I think they'll incorporate that into shoes and Nike product. For example, if Nike, every time you bought a Nike shoe, it came with an NFT and there was like a barcode on the box, you scan it and there's your NFT. And say, for example, it's a Air Force One, that might be a common NFT because obviously it's a very common shoe. If you buy the Travis Scott Fragment collab, they're like an ultra rare, you scan it, there's a sick Travis NFT with it. And if it doesn't come with the NFT, then your shoes fake like that's how simple it is i feel obviously tech wise i have no idea what i'm talking about but that's how simple it would be incorporating nfts into the fashion world and at the same time making that the way to verify products and eliminate fakes and eliminate counterfeits that's just my take on what i think louis vuitton are kind of trying to introduce here with this game carried on playing the game and i established that this game pretty much is about collecting candles which i'm not going to sit here and collect candles in front of you guys for 30 minutes i must say the fact that louis vuitton are the first to bring us collectibles and nfts within a game connecting it to their whole fashion label is super super cool and i am really excited to see how far this whole collecting nfts and digital world will go in the fashion world then i suppose this game essentially is revolved around collecting candles which are postcards and then just making it through each round and collecting cool little virtual louis vuitton things for your character but yeah i thought i would just essentially try out louis the game show you guys what it's about pretty cool concept i feel like the main concept here is to get people into this whole virtual world and collecting like virtual items like the Louis Vuitton sunglasses, like new backpacks and glasses and cool little things for your character, which I do truly believe will end up being NFTs that you can collect and things like that. But yeah, guys, I am gonna end off this video here. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you did enjoy the little vlog. Let me know what you think of the new haircut as well. The next video you guys will see from me is a vintage shopping video where to buy the best vintage streetwear stuff like rock tees and band tees and race tees and Carhartt work pants and things like that. So make sure you do subscribe if you're not already so you do not miss that video. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Smash a like on this video. I really, really appreciate that. Make sure you go and follow my Instagram as well. And I think that's it from me. Have a great start to your week tomorrow. If you're watching this video not on time, then just have a great week anyway.